hey guys and welcome back to my channel don't adjust your screen your girl has a bonnet on I do I yes I came on YouTube looking a hot mess so yeah um again thank you for joining my channel if you haven't already please like subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll know every time I come on here running my mouth because I love to run it Okay, y'all, I just wanted to come out here real quick. And I wanted to address a few things. People, 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 people. You got to quit asking folks for stuff that you wouldn't give. Asking more of people than you wouldn't give. Quit expecting so much of people. People don't owe you nothing. People do not owe you a damn thing. Even when you get grown, your parents don't owe you nothing. Even if they were fucked up, they still don't owe you nothing. You're grown now. People will ask you to do any fucking thing. Do you hear me? And will be mad at you if you don't do it. Like, why are you asking so much of me? Yeah, my nails are. I'm taking the gel off. Now, y'all, what was that? What day was that? Saturday. Me and my husband went to go get pedicures on Saturday. Why didn't I get my nails done while I was there? Just pure lazy. Because I was like, oh, I don't want him sitting that long. But he was like, I'm not tripping. So I should have got That's why my nails look right. But anyway, quit asking folks for the world. God, y'all be just dry begging all the time. It's got to stop. I mean, it's just got to be some do's and don'ts that y'all got to follow out here. I mean, me and my mom have talked about this forever. People don't know the do's and the don'ts of the world. First of all, you don't go over a motherfucker's house and sit on the arm of their couch. You don't do that. You don't go over somebody's house with a load of laundry asking can you wash your clothes over there. You don't do that. You don't go over somebody's house and ask them can you drive their brand new car. You don't do that. Stop just stop you're overbearing and you're annoying quit asking people for everything quit and always quit trying to do everything for fucking free i hate people like that every time it's an event you want to you want to do as least as possible but you got the most fucking people no you got 10 kids and you want to bring paper plates get the fuck out of here seriously get the fuck out of here what else um, am I just, just got me so annoyed? <sighs> this is a PSA for all office workers. Um, this seems to be in high, I'm not going to say high demand, but this is, the numbers seem to be higher in offices with gossip. Let me tell you something. When I clock in and I come into work, I don't want to hear anything about your personal life. I don't give a fuck. I don't, and I don't want to hear it. That's why I got my headphones in so I can block you out and everything that you're saying and everything that's going around. So don't keep coming over here to my desk or to my cube or to my office with the bullshit. Go sit down and do some work. It's motherfuckers that just sit around all day just talking and gossiping and complaining. Just You make it bad energy. That's why, people, that's why a lot of people don't even want to go back into the office. Because they think of Susie, Susie run her mouth and Scott go tell them it's going to be right fucking there when they get there. And Lord, don't have a gossiping manager because then you really ain't going to be able to. The only, only thing I can tell you, if you got a gossiping manager, start looking for you another job because that's the only how you're going to get out of that situation. Uh, gossiping co-workers and drama, for some reason, management never seems to hear or see them do anything inappropriate. And if you bring it to their attention, then... You're the office snitch or you, you know, you're not being a team player. In what world? In what fucking world? We don't want to sit and hear that shit all day. Shut the fuck up and do your work. Put some headphones on. Listen to some music. Motherfuckers come to work every day complaining about their husband. Leave the motherfucker then if you got to come to work and complain about his ass every day. I don't give a fuck. Leave me alone. And don't tell me about your life because I don't, I really don't care. 
And hey guys, if you like this content, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you'll know every time I come on here, running my mouth.